Contributing to a bill to repeal and enact the Police Reform Act, he sponsored. Deputy Senate Leader Bala Ibn Nahala said the federal government's deployment of 30,000 policemen for the Ekiti state governorship elections was unacceptable and a far cry from APC's campaign promises. He noted that the same gesture should be extended to other troubled parts of the country. That will use public funds and galvanize 30,000 policemen to supervise an election in Ikiti, while they could not mobilize 10,000 people to stop the killing in Zamfara and other places. Is this Senate in a position to say that what is being done is that our party, the APC that I represent, sir, we crown at this, it's not part of our manifesto, it's not part of what we promised the people, and I'm sure that the president himself knows that this is not acceptable in, in, in the situation, but unfortunately the police has already conditioned itself to that kind of services, Korokoro Eye Services. In his remarks, Deputy Senate President E.K. Ekweremadu, who presided over plenary, questioned the sincerity behind the massive deployment and called for accountability in the disbursement of funds. But sometimes some of these statistics are misleading, you know, so, and it only goes to count when the allowances are to be paid, and nobody is sure how many people actually participated. Meanwhile, provisions will be made for that number, so that is my worry here. But if we have 30,000 policemen and we can deploy them and pay them and they can account that for, there's no problem with that anyway. So, but it's doubtful that we have enough 30,000 policemen who can deploy in the state because of election. But somehow, allowance will be made available for 30,000. So we need to ensure accountability when we make statements such as the number of people we are deploying to work, you know, in any of these places. After the brief debate, the Senate passed for second reading a bill to repeal and enact the Police Reform Act. Osawana Ibizube, ITV News, Abuja.